At Tangerine, uh, we spend our time trying to help Canadians live better lives by helping empower them to take control of their financial lives. And I'm here today with, uh, with Barry, who's uh, been kind enough to share a story with us about how you took control of your financial life. You know, for me, it's, it's always been how I grew up. You know, my parents were immigrants to Canada. Nothing crazy here. They just taught me that, you know, if you want something, you have to save for it. So as, as an adult, it just kind of stuck with me, if you know what I mean. So for me, I've never wanted anything unless I could afford it. From your experience, do you think many people share that mindset? I don't think it's common, but I think it takes discipline. But at the same time, even though I saved, I don't have a problem with spending. You know, I joke that as soon as I saved $1,000, like, great, I've hit this milestone. So what does a 13-year-old do with $1,000? Buy a PlayStation. I want to play video games, right? right. So, it's always about finding that balance between saving and spending. And how do you translate that into how you live your life? It's crazy when you think about it because the first job I get, all of a sudden you're getting this paycheck and it's just like, oh my God, it's more money than I've ever seen in my life. So naturally you, you want to spend it. But I always still had goals in my mind. Uh, I wanted to buy a car, so I set this goal of saving $10,000. So I saved that amount and my parents were grateful enough to help me out with the rest. And you know, from there, it's, it's like I said, it's just about goals and figuring out what's your next goal. If you know you want to do something or have something, you know, set aside a little bit of money each paycheck, set up some automatic payments directly to your account. Uh, you'll quickly find that these small payments add up. And more importantly, you'll quickly find that you could probably increase these payments. So it's not as far away as you may think it is. So people who are worried about their finances, they should recognize that there's a lot of people out there that can help them with their finances. And you know, it might be something as simple as tracking your expenses and creating a realistic budget. I personally find that people who have money issues haven't really figured out where their money's coming from, where it's going. Have you gathered other financial advice throughout your life? Yeah, good and bad. So the parents are great for just some basic concepts of saving money. But you know, when you get older, you gotta start investing. And unfortunately, I got some, I got some really bad advice uh, over the years. I had a financial advisor who I thought was a friend. And eventually it got to a point where he had me invested in these things that you know, weren't doing so well or more importantly had really high fees. I realized that they weren't looking out for me and I realized that for me it was like anyone's going to look out for my money, it's going to be me. What did you do differently? So this is the point where I realized that anyone can take care of their finances because once I found out what was happening with me, I took the time to just research. You know, I picked up a book on personal finance. They're actually really easy to read these days. They're not written very technically. So after 20 hours, I had all this knowledge and it empowered me to just start taking care of my own finances. And I think you've also uh, gone out of your way to help other people. You know, I blog and I write, but more importantly, I get that people don't want to manage their money by themselves. So what I try to do is inform people what's available out there. There's so many tools, uh, so many services these days, especially with technology, that it's never been easier for a Canadian to invest without worrying about excessive fees. Sometimes complexity makes people go, you know what, I'll worry about it later. Yeah, you can't worry about it later. <laughs> these things, they don't ever fix themselves. So, you know, if you can just read one book on personal finance, just some basic concepts, and then I think once you read that one book, you'll realize how easy these things are. No one's gonna care more about your money than yourself. That's a very good point. Anyway, Barry, thanks again. No problem.